Hi there, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 6.5 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 6.5 is a problem-solving lesson, and it's about finding equivalent fractions. So we have already been doing equivalent fractions in um, Chapter 6, and this time the difference is they want us to use a strategy, a problem-solving strategy called Make a Table. So we're going to be drawing a picture of how we're solving these problems of equivalent fractions. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start here with the unlock the problem. It says, Anaya is planting a flower garden. The garden will have no more than 12 sections. Three-fourths of the garden will have daisies. What other fractions could represent the part of the garden that has daisies? So in other words, they're asking us to write equivalent fractions for three-fourths. But see here it says no more than 12 sections. That means we can't go higher in our equivalent fra fractions than a fraction with 12 on the bottom because we can only have 12 sections at the most. So we want to write, write the other ways or find the equivalent fractions of 3 fourths that do not go over 12. So it can be anything between 12 and it can be 12, but it cannot go over 12. So let's just fill in this section. What do I need to find? Well, I need to find fractions. I'm writing equivalent fractions. Fractions. By the way, if you're in my class, you should be filling out this graphic organizer. It is on page 243 of your big math book. So I need to find fractions that could represent the part of the garden that has daisies. So the information that I need to use is the three-fourths of the garden will have daisies. And we will not have more than 12 equal sections. So our strategy today is make a table to find equivalent, this should say equivalent, fractions to solve the problem. So they've already started the drawings of our um, models for us, the tables. And they've done the three-fourths that they already gave us. We know three-fourths is daisies, so they drew four sections and colored in three of them. So for equivalent fractions, we always start with the same table and then we will change it into our equivalent fraction. So remember I taught you already that to find equivalent fractions, all we do is multiply the top and the bottom by the same number to get our equivalent fractions. So 3 fourths times 1 over 1 would still be 3 fourths. So I'm going to start with 3 fourths times 2 over 2. So I'm going to split this model into two extra sections, which means I'm multiplying my 3 fourths times 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. So a 3 times a 2 would give me a 6, and a 4 times a 2 would give me an 8. And you can see that does match, match my picture. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sections colored in out of a total of eight sections. Okay, so that was when I multiplied by two. Now I'm going to split it up into th three sections, because after two comes three, which means I'm going to be multiplying my three-fourths, the top and the bottom, times three. Three times three gives me nine. Four times three gives me twelve. And you can see that does match our picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of 9 sections are colored out of 10, 11, 12. 9 twelfths. Now, I'm going to stop there with 6 eighths and 9 twelfths. I cannot go any higher because if I do, my bottom number will go higher. And it told us that we can only have no more than 12 equal sections, so I cannot go any higher. So that means that the other equivalent fractions for the daisy section of 3 fourths is 6 eighths and 9 twelfths. All right, so I hope that explains to you well how to find equivalent fractions using a model. 
So this is the model part right here. We've already done equivalent fractions, so you could have done it without a model. You could have just done the math part up here at the top in the purple, like I did. But they want you in this one to know how to draw it on a picture as well. So when we're multiplying by 2, that means I'm splitting my picture into two extra sections. When I'm multiplying by 3, that means I'm splitting it into three extra sections. If I was multiplying by 4, I'd split it into 4 sections, or 5. Okay, so if you're in my class, I want you to write down the password zebra in your planner. That lets me know that you watched this entire video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.